Hi, YouTubers. How are you today? Mama Ray Ray. Guess what, guys? I'm ready to put that dressing together for you guys today. I hope everyone is well and have an amazing Sunday. Look at this. This is that cornbread that I made with some stuffing. I have a box of stovetop stuffing. I also have two hot dog buns that I toasted and I have two pieces of bread and I have some leftover cornbread classic from Pepperidge Farm that's going in there also. Okay, we're gonna use all of that in there. All you wanna do, you're gonna have to use your hand for the dressing. I don't know how you could do it without it, okay? All right, now I have a large onion and cut up in half, four stalks of celery, two eggs, salt and pepper, two cans of cream of chicken. I have a little sage and a little poultry seasoning, a uh, stick of butter, and 48 ounces of chicken stock. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is this. We're gonna go in first with, I'm gonna go in with the butter. Okay, that's a whole stick of butter. I'm going in with my onion and celery. And you could cut it as fine as you want it to put it into your um, dressing, okay? All right, kind of mix it as I go is how I'll do it. I'm not trying to let this video be too long, guys. But what we're gonna do is mix it up. And I'm gonna moist it up a little bit. We're gonna probably end up using all of this. And I wanna put some in now, okay? So that may be half. And then we're gonna go in with our egg. I beat up two eggs. And we're gonna go in with those. All right, those, those are two eggs. I know some people who use four eggs. I'm using two eggs. So much noise. And then we're gonna go in with our cream of mushroom. Now you can use your eggs last so that you could taste your food and see how it tastes. But I kinda got it how to do it by eye and feel by now. I make it so much. You use white pepper or a little black pepper, but you don't wanna overdo it just to taste. So I put a little black pepper, and I'm just gonna say a dab of salt. It's not much, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with some more of my broth, okay? And I'm gonna mix this real well, guys, okay? And you want this loose, because remember, you're gonna put this in the oven on 375 and you gotta let this cook. So you don't want your dressing dried out, okay? So mix it real well. Now, if you're adding chicken to this, you should have already put your chicken in so that you could have stirred it inside of your dressing, okay? But because I'm baking chicken and all that, I'm gonna have a different variety today and I'm feeding lots of people. I didn't put my chicken in this particular one. Okay. Now, do you see that consistency, guys? See that? Now, this is the thing. A lot of people say no, but I know old school people, they would freeze their dressing if they had leftovers. That's how they would do it. But I'm going to cook all of mine because I know when everybody finds out that it's on, they're going to want it. Okay? So that's what we want. And we're going to put it inside of our dish. I want to say that's a 9 by 10. We're going to put it in there. Just going to loosen it up a little bit more because you want this loose. Okay. Now, we're going to go in. If you like your dressing where well, you can cut it like a cake, let it cook for an hour or so. I'm going to let mine cook for about 55 minutes and check it, guys, and I'll be right back.
All right, guys, let me show you something real quick. This is what I have left. I'm gonna show you, I have a friend who likes boiled eggs on hers. So she's got lucky today. Let's say blessed. I wanna make this one for her and I'll show it to you. But let's put this one in the oven on 375 for 55 minutes right now. All right, guys, if you're still here and you have not subscribed to Mama Ray Ray in the kitchen, subscribe guys, what are you waiting for? Let's have a great 2023. The ending of it is almost here in the holidays. Now, this is a little pan. Some people like this, like this, guys. This is three boiled eggs, okay? That's what this is. And if you want to know how I add my toast, come up here, please. That's how I bake my buns and my toast. I put them on a cookie sheet and let them go and then make them like croutons and add that to your dressing. That bread that I gave you, that recipe is right up under this video. It's awesome for the holidays. Now, you're gonna take your eggs and you're gonna work them in. Some people like them to sit to the top, so you don't wanna take them all the way in, guys. You just wanna do it just like that. Some people like them boiled. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the oven now, along with our other dressing. And when it's done, guys, I'll be back. Don't forget to spray your pan or your pot, whatever you're gonna cook, your cast iron skillet for your dressing. Don't forget to oil it before you put your dressing in, okay? All right, be right back. All right, guys, look at this cornbread dressing. Everybody's gonna show up and you already showed out. Look at that cornbread dressing, guys. And you know what, even though I, I'm gonna have dinner, I want you guys to see, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's absolutely beautiful. That's just like my grandma Ruby's dressing. Mama too put the eggs on the top, which is my other grandmother on my dad's side. But this is how my mother's mother made her dressing. And it would be so good. Sometimes she would use the cream of mushroom and sometimes, I mean, excuse me, the cream of chicken soup. And sometimes she didn't. But this is superb, guys. It's going to be absolutely delicious. I have pork chops and I'm going to have baked chicken. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Have an awesome day. Voila!